This is JJ Studio. Thank you for stopping in. We got another wonderful video for you. Here we go. Sit back and relax and enjoy. There's a Sasquatch that's in a barn down the road, and there's state and federal authorities there. The government has showed up. There's a helicopter up there. It's, it's in the barn. This is what I hear. I have a police scanner in here, and I, I, I'm, I'm listening to it. And it's in the barn, and the government has showed up, and I don't know what they're doing. They won't let us near that area. But the, one helicopter showed up, and about four uh, Blackhawks flew by, and they're over, they're over there at a, at a short distance. But this, this one is right on top. This helicopter is right on top of where the barn is. Now I'm gonna get in my car. I'm gonna see if I can get over by the barn and get a picture of the Sasquatch. You know, whether they're gonna shoot it. I don't know what they're gonna do to it, but it's clearly, you know, that's what I understand. They have a Bigfoot in a barn that did something. I'm not really sure what, but they were chasing it. It went into a barn and it's cornered. Tried everything to get to the barn to help the Sasquatch. And as you see, it doesn't even matter where you go. They have the Sasquatch surrounded in the barn. Look, look at the guy's got a assault rifle, the cop. There's no way into the barn. They got, they got it blocked off. There's a, there's a news truck. There's a, uh, there's some cops. There's some feds. I mean, you know, I don't know what they're going to do to the poor Bigfoot. I'm sort of worried. They got the highway blocked off. You can't get in. They're using the fire department to help kill the Sasquatch. I think it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Like the, you know, all these, just an animal anyway. Like what, what's, what's the big deal? It's just a Bigfoot. America's busiest ports could come to a halt night. A dock worker strike could cost our economy $5 billion per day. And President Biden says he will not intervene. Vice President of Supply Chain and Customs Policy for the National Retail Federation, Jonathan Gold, joins us now. Good morning to you, Jonathan. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. So what does this mean for, the, um, for America? Will our shipping costs go up? And this could have a significant impact on the economy. Uh, you know, as you saw, J.P. Morgan said five billion dollars a day. Uh, if we have all of our ports shut down, that means nothing comes in or goes out. So imports and exports will fully stop at these ports. Yeah, Harold Daggett, who is the head of the Dock Workers Union, he's been critical of Biden and Harris and says he's wondering where they have been for his members. He says on week one, it will make headlines. On week two, car dealers will start to lay people off. On week three, malls will begin closing and construction workers will lose their jobs. What will this mean for the election? What will this mean for Christmas as we're starting to order our gifts? So many retailers have taken steps to mitigate the impact of a potential strike. They brought product in early, they shipped it to the West Coast, so they've tried to take steps to make sure the product is on store shelves. But the longer that a strike goes and ports remain closed, the more difficult it's going to be to get product in. So there are 45,000 union workers that could walk off the job at 12.01, just after midnight tonight. Um, that can be extremely costly. They're asking for, what, 60 to 80 percent? I've seen both numbers. What are they asking for, and where are, are we with the negotiation? So our understanding is they're asking for about a 77 percent increase in their wages over the life of the contract. Unfortunately, the parties, uh, the only have walked away from the negotiations in mid-June, and they've not returned to the bargaining table. So this is a six-year contract, and it expires. And have we seen workers walk off the job? Have you ever seen anything like this? I think the last time we had a uh, coast-wide strike was in 1977. Gosh, 40, what, 47 years ago. Um, so where are we with, I mean, are they, are they talking? Are they saying, that's a big increase, 80%. We would all love an 80% raise, right? Is there some sort of a compromise? Uh, the only way they can compromise is to actually get to the table and start negotiating. We know is that the US happening? Can, that has not happened since June. Wow. Why? I, 
it's unclear. Uh, you know, the only way they're going to be able to negotiate is if they actually sit at the table. Uh, I think the ILA continues to say they want their wage demands agreed to before they come to the table. But, you know, cut the bargaining. The only way you can get to an agreement is you're actually at the table having those conversations. Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on this morning. We're hearing declarations of all-out war coming from an Iranian proxy against Israel and Israel's allies, specifically the United States. And like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you the response that is coming out. Let me know your thoughts. Has World War III already begun? If you believe so, put a one in the comments. If you think no, if it's not officially begun, there is more to go here before we see all-out conflict put it to. Uh, but I let that person know that uh, usually in the history books, uh, later on, after everything is said and done, they'll go back and say, this is when it actually began, and they will mark the date. And we might have already hit that date with everything that is unfolding. Uh, but like I said, let's take a look at the world's response from this. Now, this coming out in just the past couple of hours. Take a look at this. Uh, Saudi Arabia responds, Prince Salam, uh, Salman, the Palestinian issue does not concern me. I don't care. Uh, I only care about my own country. It has been banned to deliver sermons or pray for Palestine in mosques in Saudi Arabia. He is saying, do not pray for Palestine in Saudi Arabia. It has been banned in our mosques. Chanty, chanting their slogans for Palestine is prohibited in this country. Country, he says, and again, this is just coming out this morning, September the 29th, 2024. So, uh, man, the response is coming out almost like the sides are being drawn. And take a look at this. We are seeing various nations that you might not expect celebrating the assassination. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell so you get the newest notification of this video. So, share this out with your friends and family. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.